How's it going everybody? Today we're looking at the Lego City Car Transporter, set number 60305 for 342 pieces. Ever since seeing this set leaked uh, a few months ago, I was very excited to get it. I'm not sure what it is about it that really got my attention, but regardless, it got my attention, so I'm very excited to have it in front of me now. On the front of the box, you'll see the car transporter itself, as well as the kind of sporty muscle car that comes with it as well as both of the um, minifigs, which is the driver of the car and the driver of the truck. On the top of the box, you'll see the woman having some trouble with her car. She's got a wrench out, the car itself, and the truck driver who has a broom, which I do not think will be fixing that car very much, and a scale version of the uh, woman minifig. On the back of the box, you'll see some of the play features of this, where you're able to actually get the ramp to drop and drive the cars right off. You'll see how you can detach it from the trailer. You'll see how you can get the bottom ramp to drop. And you'll get some nice shots of the whole set. I'm really excited to get this thing built and even get some additional cars on the back of the truck. So let's open it up and build it and get it reviewed. As usual, we're gonna check out the minifigures first. On the left, we have the driver of the car. She has a nice hairpiece, cool sunglasses, a leather jacket with striped shirt, and light blue pants. And the truck driver on the right has a blue baseball cap, a pretty grizzled looking face, a red jacket with a, with a gray sweatshirt underneath, gray gloves, and blue jeans. As we normally see with LEGO City sets, we do not have any arm or leg printing, but we do have torso printing on the back. Nothing too special. It's what you'd expect out of these figures. You get the back of the jacket and shirt for the girl and the guy has the hood of the sweatshirt poking out from under his jacket and of course the jacket. Since the baseball cap shows a lot of the back of his head, the guy does not have a, a second face print, but the girl does come with a face print without her purple sunglasses on. So if you're not a fan of those glasses, you can just pop them right off. And now with both minifigs checked out and reviewed, let's check out the actual car transport. The car that comes with the set is an orange convertible and it looks really nice, especially for its little size. On the front, you obviously get the headlights, grill, license plate, and hood. On the back, you get pretty much the same thing with the tail lights, brake lights, and license plate, along with a little spoiler. And on the inside, you just get one little steering wheel and a seat. Overall, I'm a fan of the car. I think it worked well with the set, and even as its own, I think it holds its ground. I think it's a nice little build. But let's get to the actual big build of the set. And getting to the truck itself, we have a really nice build. The truck itself is a kind of flat face design with what you would expect with headlights and turn signals, as well as a license plate. Windshield, more lights up top. Not really doors, but just kind of open holes for the guy to, I guess, crawl through if he wants to get in or out of the vehicle. Side mirrors. And on the back of the cab, you do have a big wrench and a broom. And the trailer itself has room for about three vehicles, two on top, one on the bottom. The bottom does have a ramp to go out. And when the ramp is dropped, you can slant that down to get the top vehicles off as well. If you want to pop the trailer off of the cab, it does have a little stand that you can swivel down and prop the trailer up and have them separate in case you want to have a different truck or whatever it is you want to do with it. I'm happy they put that in there, but I don't see a lot of people using that feature. And now for the main feature of the set, you can just kind of roll the car right in. And be on your way and obviously you can also put it up top this car itself does fit perfectly in those little slots but if you have a car like the ideas gift with purchase car it's not the same like length as that car so while it does fit width wise it's actually too long to fit in there and put the ramp up unless you really don't care about the customer <laughs> But even though it doesn't fit in those little slots, it does fit in the kind of spacers. So you can actually have it up top and put the car that comes with the set down on the bottom. 
and I think that looks pretty nice. Obviously the gift with purchase card is a bit longer, but if you did have two other cars about that size, you could fit both of them on top and have three vehicles, but right now I can just fit these two. But yeah, for 30 bucks, you get a nice truck, nice car, and two pretty good minifigs. I don't think that the price is too high. I think it's pretty where it should be. I'm a fan of the truck. I think the play feature is nice. I think the actual displayness of it, displayability. The word I was looking for was displayability. I'm happy with it. I think the colors look great. And overall, I recommend this set for 30 bucks. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.